Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Uh, I want to talk today about a subject that comes up quite often and for which I'm not sure I have the right answer. And the question is, how often should we listen to the same material or read the same lesson? How much time should we spend on one lesson before we move on? And in my previous video, I pointed out that uh, in my Greek, I noticed that I have listened to some of these lessons 40, 50 times and that I try to, in the beginning stages of my learning, do a lot of repetitive listening and reading. Uh, and that later on, I tend to read material maybe only once. In other words, I go from a very intensive form of listening and reading and repetitive to a more extensive. Now, there was a comment below that video from a person who is a teacher and said that their experience has been, they did a, an experiment and they had half the class uh, very intensively study 15 lessons. Let's say that the whole course was 60 lessons long. So they had the class, one group, half of them, study the 15 lessons very intensively, and the other group plowed forward to do all 60. And it turned out that at the end of the um, first uh, period uh, that they looked at them, uh, obviously, the group that had been very intensively studying the 15 lessons performed better than the group that was moving forward more quickly. But at the end of the period, the group that had covered more material was better in every way, pronunciation, fluency, vocabulary, you name it, which tends to suggest that we are better off to plow ahead and not worry too much about what we understand, not try to ace things, not try to, you know, create the sort of repetitious, you know, awareness uh, and so forth. So I'm kind of struggling with my Greek, for example, I have been under the impression that particularly since I'm going to Greece in, in a little over a month or maybe in six weeks and I want to be able to say something and I feel this repetitive listening helps me get a handle of the language. But I'm questioning whether that's really right. Uh, maybe I am better served by just plowing ahead uh, on link, I look up words that I don't know, they show up later, later on, highlighted in yellow, I'm forever moving on to new material, a lot of basic vocabulary and phrasing is naturally going to repeat, but I'm pushing forward. Rather than worrying so much about ingraining these phrases in my mind, if I follow the example of this person, maybe I'm better served by moving faster. I know for a fact that I've always felt that, that one of the biggest mm, faults that language learners have is that they stay too long with learner material. So I have tended to say, okay, two months, maybe, I mean, it depends on the language. With Romanian, because the vocabulary is so similar to Italian, very relatively quickly I could move into authentic material. In Greek, where there's maybe only 10, 15% familiar vocabulary, it's very difficult still for me to read, say, newspapers. So it depends on the language, but I think we should perhaps be pushing ourselves, and I'm gonna do this now with my Greek, push myself a little bit more to move away from the familiar lessons, trying to nail down that extra, you know, 10, 15% of, of comprehension and push myself more towards newer and, and, and perhaps more challenging material. At any rate, uh, I thought that was a very interesting comment uh, and it, it gave me some food for thought and I would be interested in your uh, reactions or your experience. Thank you for listening and if you enjoy these uh, videos, please subscribe. Bye for now.